I'm Jean Hodges, and I'm National News Editor for Gatehouse News Service. I'd like to talk to you about a couple of things coming up with the news service, and one of them actually you should already have seen. It's a political contributions database, and what it does is it coordinates contributions that individuals have made, only individuals, we're not talking about PACs or other kinds of group um, donations, but these are individuals in your towns and really throughout the country to the president, uh, presidential candidates. So in the political contributions database, you will be able to put in your hometown or your zip code or any town nearby or even your state for comparison purposes. And what you'll be able to do is you'll get a list of all the contributors in your town, their addresses and how much they've contributed and to which political candidates they've contributed to. What I'll do is I'll just show you what the contribution database looks like. And here it is. It comes up and it looks like this. You should have a link to this already. Um, I've sent it out in emails and it's also on the national budget every day. So what you do, let's say that you want to search by zip code and I'll just put my zip code in just to show you how it works. What you can do, and you can specify, as you can see, you can put in different people's names to see what they've donated. You can search by candidate. You can search different kinds of donors, but actually those are all individuals because we just specified those. So you can search by state. Um, this might look a little different depending on what browser you're using, but it gives you some idea of what's going on. So what I've done is I've searched by my zip code and it brings up, as you can see, the names of people in my zip code, their addresses, and the donor type is individuals because again, we're just, we're really interested in kind of what your neighbor is donating and how much they're donating into whom. And as you can see, I live in Illinois, so um, we have a lot of Obama people because Obama's from our state. So a few Bidens in there, and you can see how much they've donated. You can see their addresses. Really heavy on Obama. I also live not very far from the place he's uh, saying his home is. So um, anyway, that gives you some idea of what this database can do for you. And it's really a great local source. And the editors I've talked to who've used it have been really enthusiastic. They're like, oh, cool, let me type in my, you know, my city and the, my neighboring city and see who all is donating and see if I know them. And um, obviously for story ideas, this is going to, um, to give you a really good idea of different kinds of stories. We have on ghnewsroom.com, we do have a list of stories that, uh, story ideas that we came up with that will be an easy way for you to use this database. And some of them include things like looking for um, more than one contribution from one address, for example, and maybe there's like a husband and wife and they're you know, contributing to different people, it might make a funny story. So those kinds of things, or even just the very straight, okay, these are the people who are donating, this is how much they're donating, and how does that compare to the state? I mean, are you guys different from, you know, other people in your state? So anyway, I think it's a really good opportunity for you to do some great local stories. Right now, this database is good for the first three quarters of 2007, and that's because the political candidates have until the end of January to file the fourth quarter uh, contributions. So as soon as those are filed, we will update this. This is going to live for the entire election season, and we'll continue to update it. In 2008, uh, the candidates are required to report monthly, so we will go ahead and, and update it every month. So we hope that you guys will use this through the whole political season maybe take a look at some different kinds of stories. So uh, we hope that'll be really useful to you. If you have any questions about it, uh, please contact me or contact Tom Sudor if you want it on your website. Everybody who's on the Zope web platform right now, it's already on your site, so you don't need to worry about it. But for other people, uh, who don't have ZOAP right now, you, we can get it on your site. Some of you already have it, and we've already talked to some web people, but if you want to try to get it on your site, Tom is the guy to, to contact, and his email address will be at the end of this video. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk to you about is it's something that's coming up and really excited about it. It's a NASCAR preview tab, and this tab is coming out this week. At the very latest, it'll be Friday, but I think we're trying to push it out by Tuesday of this week. That's going to be really awesome. It's 24 pages. The people who contributed to it are really well known in NASCAR circles. One of them is Jerry Bonkowski, and he travels to all the races. He knows the drivers and the crew chiefs, and he's got, in this NASCAR tab, he's got an interview with Dale Earnhardt Jr. Uh, it's a great question and answer interview, and it's Dale looking ahead at the, the season, and we've also got stories on how to beat Jimmy Johnson, which is what everybody's asking, and is he going to be able to 
win his third consecutive uh, season, and if he does, nobody's done that obviously since the mid 70s. So we have some great content. We've also got some, obviously, the schedule pages. We've got stats, and uh, those were compiled by someone named Dan Beaver, who specializes in racing stats, and there's some really interesting. Uh, things to look at. So I think you really like it. Also the design of it looks pretty slick. So we're going to move that out there as quickly as we can. I know there's been a lot of demand for getting the pages to you quickly and we're trying to accommodate that. So I hope you find the section useful. Uh, I'd really be interested in feedback, on especially the kind of stories that you do with the political contribution database. Let me know because I'd love to be able to share those with some of our papers. And also uh, with the NASCAR tab, please let me know how you have received that and we're always looking to improve the new service you guys know it's only been out there since July we're looking for new ways to do things to make your jobs easier so just let me know if there's anything we can do for you thank you